next is you are going to study the another important question uh, which is the transistorized analysis so for the transistorized analysis they will be giving you the emitter follower circuit for the first one we are going to see the emitter follower circuit so emitter follower circuit first we are going to analyze the voltage series feedback amplifier so for voltage series feedback amplifier first the you have the six steps so first step is identify the topology second step is find the input circuit so third step is find the output circuit fourth step replace the transistor by equivalent h parameter equivalent circuit then fifth step is find the open loop voltage gain sixth step is indicate v not vi and find beta seventh step is calculate the desensitivity and voltage gain with feedback and input resistance rif output resistance rof without connecting rl and r dash of with connecting rl right so first i'm going to can identify first step i am going for the identification of the topology so how to identify this topology they will be, be giving you the circuit from that rs you know, they have given us 1 kilo ohms hie 1.1 kilo ohms rc equal to 4.7 kilo ohms re equal to 100 ohms maximum you can get the problems from the part b or part c question right so So you get v when you short circuit that v naught is equal to zero. So when you that is said to be voltage sampling. So if a vf is uh, subtracted externally from vs, that is vf minus vf, that is said to be series mixing. So what kind of network is this? Voltage series feedback amplifier, right? So voltage series feedback amplifier. Second step, you are going to calculate the input circuit. The input circuit you are going to draw. So from the input circuit, how will you draw the input circuit from this? So you are going to draw the VS, which is the voltage source, and RS is the source resistance. And you are going to draw the transistor. From that, you are going to draw the collector resistance RC and emitter resistance RE. The output voltage is V0. So set the V0 as 0, and VS is series with RS. Next third step, you are going to calculate the output circuit so output circuit is set i a equal to i b equal to zero r e alone will be there in the output next the fourth step you are going to calculate replace the transistor with equivalent h parameter equivalent circuit what are the h parameter equivalent circuit you all know that what are the h parameter equivalent circuit first one is input resistance that is input impedance output admittance forward current gain reverse voltage gain right so first you have to get the h i e HOE, HFEIB and HREVC. So like that, I am going to concentrate only on the two terms HIE and HFEIB. So draw the equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit of the amplifier transistor. Right? Replace the transistor by the equivalent circuit. This is emitter, base and collector. Collector is at the output with respect to input is base. This is the ground. So R i is input and R naught is output and R R O dash R naught dash is something but with respect to R. So find the open loop voltage gain. What is open loop voltage gain? A V equal to V naught by V S, which is H F E I B R E by V S. Apply K V L to the input loop. V S is equal to I B R S plus H I E into I B. So take I B common, you get I I B into R S plus H I E. Substitute V S in A V. What is V S? A uh, A V is equal to HFE IB RE by VS. What is VS? IB into RS plus HIE. IB IB cancel. You get HIE, HFE into RE by RS plus HIE. What is HFE? They have given the problem 50. Beta is nothing but HFE. 50 into what is RE given? 100. What is RS given? 1000. What is HIE given? 1.1 kilo ohms. So 1.1 into 10 part 3. What is the gain of the amplifier now? AV is 2.38. Right? Next. R dash OF is that is sixth step. Indicate the V naught VF and beta. Beta is nothing but v, VF by V naught, which is one. And uh, uh, seventh step is calculate D AVF and RIF, ROF and R dash OF. D is equal to one plus beta AV. So D is equal to one plus beta value was here it is one already calculated. One into AV is two point three eight previously calculated. So D is three point three eight. So AVF is equal to AV by 1 plus AV beta, which is AV by D. D is nothing but 1 plus AV beta, right? So AV by D, which is 2.38 by 3.38. Already calculated this D. Substitute this. So you get 0 0.7. So RI is equal to RS plus HIE, which is equal to 1000 plus 1.1K. 1 so 1.1 into 10 power 3, which is 2.1 kilo ohms. 
then RIF is equal to RI into D which is 2.1 into 1000 into 3.38 which is 7.09 kilo ohms. Just use KQ calculator and do it. So R0 is equal to infinity. Output resistance is infinity. So R RIF is equal to R0 by 1 plus beta AB which is infinity. Everything will be infinite. So here you are going to calculate R, R, R O dash E which is equal to RE. I am going to connect the virtual circuit. For the virtual circuit you are going to calculate the R O dash. So R O dash is V0 by IX. IX is nothing but IX into R, V0 is IX into RE by IX. IX is nothing but this virtual. So IX cancel you are getting RE. So R0 dash is equal to RE. So what is R0 dash F? R0 dash by RD. So RE by D which is 100 by 3.38 which is 29.5. Right? Then RYF you are going to calculate with respect to steady state. So RYF equal to limit RE tends to infinity into R, R dash OF. So RE tends to infinity RE by D. D is 1 plus beta AV. So apply this you get RS plus HIE by HFE. That is 1K plus 1.1K by 50 which is 442 ohms. Similarly you are going to uh, do the current series feedback network. Right? And the remaining two Networks. This question can be asked as one more important question, which is the characteristics of negative feedback amplifier. Uh, last time they have last uh, university exam they have asked to compare all the four topologies. So for that you have to study this. So first one is characteristics, voltage series, current series, current shunt, and voltage shunt. These are the four topologies. So you are going to compare the characteristics. First characteristics sampling signal. So how will you get the sampling signal, which is X naught? Next is mixing signal. Next you find the input uh, loop set. Then find the output loop set. Signal source. Beta, beta, then beta's reverse, reverse feedback, then uh, A is nothing but output, X0 by Xi, then D is equal to 1 plus A beta, then AF, RIF, ROF, R dash OF and ROF parallel to RL, right? So, signal sampling, first it will be both, everything will be voltage, here it will be current, so voltage, current and current then voltage. So, input is V0 is 0, I0 is 0, I0 is 0, V0 is 0. So, to calculate output I0 is 0, I0 is 0, VI0 is 0 and VI0, right? To calculate the signal source, we are going to use Thevenin serum here. Here, you are going to use Norton serum. Beta is equal to VF by V0 here, I VF by I0 here, IF by I0 here, it is IF by V0, right? So, AV equal to V0 by VI, GM equal to I0 by VI, AI equal to I0 by II. RM equal to V0 by I. Already everything is calculated. Same thing you are going to repeat here over here. So here it is 1 plus beta AV. Here it is 1 plus beta GM. Here it is 1 plus beta AI. Here it is 1 plus beta RM. Right. So here next is next set you are going to study the AF. What is AF? AF is equal to um, AF is AV by D. Here it is GM by D, here it is AI by D, here it is RM by D, right? So all the equations RIF, RYF, R dash OF and R, all the four equations you are going to write the final expressions. So this you will get it in one thirteen mark question. Last time it's asked in the university exam, right?